Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Lower Deck Season 5, Episode 5. Looks like this episode is called Starbase 80, and I'm not saying that in a confused way. I'm saying that because there's a question mark at the end of the title of the episode. I suppose it could also be said Starbase 80, which uh, I believe was uh, Captain Freeman's reaction to finding out that her counterpart, uh, her alternate in the first episode, was sent to Starbase 80. Anyways, even with that title, I'm not sure what to expect here. Um, I think maybe this is the episode with the decon gel. Hopefully this isn't the episode with Harry Kim. I wouldn't want to see him at Starbase 80. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to expect. But before I get into this episode, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to say about this episode or the previous episodes, please put it in the comments. Also, if you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It really helps me to stay motivated to get these videos out and helps the channel to grow, so thank you. I believe that's all I have to say before getting into this episode, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. I'm pooped. Working on ocean planets really takes it out of you. He's <laughs> got a bit of a goatee going now. But hey, that algae glowed in the dark. Look, I love bioluminescence too. Hmm. I like that she's excited for things now. Wow, I sound like a real Boimler right now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> True. cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Computer, shut That's not good. Please don't, please don't kill them. I'm hosting their first annual scatting battle. Well, we are. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. You're not gonna like it. The only station within reach is Starbase 80. Damn, Starbase 80. <laughs> Starbase 80. That's the title of the episode. I mean, at full impulse, we could get to Deep Space Six in 400 years. That. Let's do that, Ooh. Mom. Please, right? Let's do that. <laughs> Mr. Boimler, Starbase 80, full impulse. No! I mean. Is it as bad visiting it as it is to be assigned to it? Oh, by the way, in regards to the, the trailing title text, I saw a post on Twitter a while ago. I took a screenshot, I'll put it up on the screen, but seems relevant. Oof, that music. Uh, musical sting, whatever you want to call it. So ominous. You can't make me go back. Put me in the brig, shoot me into space. When we crossed dimensions, the other me ran this pile of junk. Okay, yeah. I mean, can't you just send other officers? You've got probably plenty on board. Hey, Captain. Starbase 80's transporters aren't safe for organic use. They want us to rub down with some kind of gel. Ah! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm a total T'Pol over here. Mirror Bear, get my... <laughs> Can science explain Q? Probably. You gonna use... <laughs> Maybe. I like to lay it on thick. Oh, yeah. That... <sighs> Oh yeah, that's the that's the stuff. Well, anything's possible in hell. Hiya, Cerritos crew. <laughs> no, what the heck is with the uniform? It's got the shoulder things. What I don't know what to call them. Colors. Well, I'm sure we have a nav processor or two in storage. As long as you don't mine an older model. Well, as long as it's not as dysfunctional as this station, I'm sure they'll take it. Looks like you're with me. Mom, come on, please, please, look, give me, give me hot. <laughs> This officer is, like, really upbeat. <laughs> the musical score for this episode is very... I don't know. It works. I think it's... I think it's funny. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? That's funny. Wall hops? The base hasn't experienced many upgrades since the huh. 2260s. That's why it's so retro cool. See, man? That is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Corn dog vendor. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Mm -mm -mm. They have food vendors all over the base instead of replicators. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's Rutherford to Commander Billups. SB 80's got some. What's going on with Billups? Ah, static. Yep, this place is. Okay. Guess the breakfast burrito didn't sit well. Looks like I'm on my own. Whoa. Hmm. Spooky. Huh? <laughs> what the hell? I don't understand what's happening here. The signature stink. Mmm. All I smell is gel. Do you? <laughs> of course he brought some with him. Patty, you almost be from the Ritos, aren't you? Sorry, he dozed off there. That voice sounds familiar. I've definitely heard it from somewhere. I, I can definitely place the actor, but I don't remember remember his name. Probably in the arcade. Y'all have fun. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm curious as to like what the arcade would look like. Okay, some kind of promenade here. Food court. No 
that's cursed sauce. Don't touch that. What? I eat those every day. They're... Why is he already? He's he's acting drowsy like the zombies already. Applicators. They're the uniforms of long dead men. What? Vintage. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Rutherford, how about you take that pile on the left? I I don't understand what's going on. Rutherford's cursed. He's got the eighty. There's got to be a rational scientific explanation. Well, better start scanning. Oof. Looks like a bunch of the Cerritos crew are cursed. Zombified? I don't know what to call them. Did you use these as an ensign? I am not that old. Oh, well, I think we... <laughs> <laughs> I said arcade. <laughs> Maintenance Labyrinth confirmed. What? This is definitely not the arcade. Arcade? Get back here! <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I don't know what's going on here. But why is it only your crew? Huh, that's weird. While your crew's affected, none of us locals are. Yeah. Let's get you to that arcade. <laughs> Stairs. In the perfect workout. Yeah. 30 <laughs> stories and you'll hit the arcade. 30 stories. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Kendi, Rutherford keeps trying to lick the walls. Can you help, please? Okay, well, that sucks. And since Mackler and Gorm, I need your help at my location now. Oh, they're using the replicators. That's what's happening. She used it for t with uh, Dr. Ta'ana. He used it with Billups, and that's how it's contagious. So Boimler's next. That a lot. He's British. Does he have one? <laughs> how did you know? I was told it was hardly noticeable. Yeah, it was. His voice kind of sounds familiar. All right, this. I'm calling for you that. Stop! Give me that com badge. You'll get it too. Hey. Okay, so she knows. Knew you were up to something. What? Okay. Well, if she knows, then or unless she just figured it out like I did. I'm Elorian. I think I know how to fight. Wait, like Guinan? What? what? Oh. No, I'm in my 30s, but I pay attention. <laughs> a young Elorian <laughs> is just a regular person. I'm trying. To it's just a regular person. We use old wall comms. That has to be it. Why not just contacted his ensigns? And he's fine. Uh, wow. Oh. Oh. Not so much. But that means the curse is from the Cerritos? Okay. I guess that's a conclusion you could come to. I don't understand. But I'm sure my questions will be answered. We are going to the arcade. Oh, awesome. It's right over there. <laughs> Here's some extra tokens on the house. What? Okay. <laughs> Ferengi's fortune. Gene? Oh, hey. How did he get up here? Where's Lieutenant Jakubowski? Maybe this is. Uh, calm down, yeah. lady. That is Jakubowski. Yeah. Starfleet lying to Starfleet? That is messed up, Gene. <laughs> Outrageous. Starbase 80s for second chances. That's why I love it. <gasps> what the? <laughs> well, you won't have many second chances if you uh if you die. With the help of two of my biggest weirdos. And who who are they? Oh, like the doctor and, okay. I don't know about this other guy. Oh, this is the hot dog, the corn dog guy, right? Oh, thank God. Self-destruct sequence activated. <laughs> what the hell is happening on this ship? Are they like hitting the the button? Yeah. Livic. Livic. <laughs> I'm glad that joke has continued. Looks like this is a job for Chad. Corn dog time! What? <laughs> Chad, no! Chad. I mean, it's not like they're killing you or eating you. Where is this? What? No way! What is it? Cetacean? Get down! What? Why? Well, they got electrocuted, are they? Oh. Okay, good news. Pretty sure it's not Tarchan and Parasites. Has he been off? Huh. I'm reading an anaphasic consciousness controlling his body. It ah, okay. Because they're like his fingertips, reaching out in the dark. Finger and tongue tips, yeah. Can you- <laughs> Well. I spent all day thinking you guys were idiots. Now it's my turn to be the biggest idiot of all. <laughs> sure. Sure, Mariner. What are you doing? Giving you a second chance. <laughs> yeah, well. Now you're both gonna get taken. I've studied the most advanced medicines in the quadrant. What's the solution gonna be? Fashion booking! <laughs> Oh, okay. Simple enough. How'd you do it? <clears throat> um, uh, 
Complicated doctor stuff. <laughs> okay. Chad lives to dog another day. Yeah, you know, you go, corn dog guy. My designation is Clem. I am sorry for the trouble I. Clem. I hope my bosses see it that way. They can be real dicks. <laughs> That's not something I was expecting from him. We aren't done yet. <laughs> we aren't. What? Oh, are they repairing the whole station? Ooh, good thing no one was underneath that. Now you see, we're just a bunch of scrappy underdogs. Arf, arf. <laughs> now that. I like this. I like this uh, character. Then let's get out of here. No, the alternate Freeman must have failed at this, and I won't. <laughs> She's so stuck on that. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? They're so dumb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guest cast. Okay. Stephen Root is the is the voice of the the guy that was pretending not to be pretending to to be someone he wasn't. I'm not sure I recognize any of the other names, uh, but I will look them up real quick because I doubt it's on IMDb yet. This episode specifically because it's it just aired. So uh, Nicole Byer. This must be the character that was with Mariner the whole time. I didn't catch her name. The Illyrian? Elarians. Gosh. I typed in Illyrian and it was showing me Una from Strange New Worlds. It says Illyrian and Elarian. That's just confusing. <laughs> Anyways, I believe that, 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 that that's who this actress played. Uh, Liam. McIntyre. I mean, I don't recognize his face, but he could be a voice I recognized. No, I don't see anything familiar. Um, who else? Oscar Montoya. Okay, I've definitely seen Oscar Montoya. This is the guy from... So the only thing I know Oscar Montoya from is uh, Dropout Show, the, 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 the Gastronauts. I watched, like, the episode on... I guess that was on YouTube. I don't know if it's like the first episode or whatever, but that's where I've seen him. And it looks like he's done voices for Lower Decks before. Like this, whatever voice was this episode, it's it's not the first time. I already know Stephen Root and then Paul Shear. Well, that's Billups. Clear, like, but I guess, I don't know. I assumed he was like a main cast. It wasn't a guest cast. So, all right, well, anyways, I enjoyed that episode. It was fun. <laughs> Fun to see Starbase 80. Honestly, I wasn't sure if we had already seen a glimpse of Starbase 80 with Mariner uh, being assigned there, but I, but I don't, I don't think we have. I think this is like the first real look we've gotten at it. So that's cool. Uh, uh, cool to see that they're like using retro tech, the turbo lifts, the the wall comms, no replicators. Uh, loved loved the idea of the food vendors and just the corn dog guy. It's really funny. And this Alarian character, I really liked her. I thought she was cool. I mean, I'd love to see more of her, but I doubt she would leave her post at Starbase eighty. I mean, but who knows? Maybe we'll see see her in the second half of the season. The whole uh, zombie storyline, this non corporeal being taking over one of the whales and extending its reach throughout the crew of the Cerritos via the comm badges. I mean, I thought it was cool. Uh, I was very confused for a while there, but I enjoyed the story. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious that the doctor just smacked the whale to, to get it to spit up the, this, this alien life form. And, uh, and then he played it off like, like he did some sort of special scientific thing. I don't, I don't remember what the, what they said the, the life form's name was, but I mean, seems nice. Hope they enjoy Starbase 80. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm but I'm glad I was able to pick up on the whole com badge uh, thing before it was officially revealed. I was, it's it's always nice to 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 have those realizations and then to be conf for it to be confirmed. Boimler's beard is coming along. Uh, he's got a bit of a uh, a bit of a goatee now because he had the mustache and now he's got a, a bit of the chin, uh, but still patchy in the cheeks, just like me. So I don't know. Uh, I mean, we're halfway done with the season now, so there's plenty of time for, for his beard to grow. As for me, I'm not sure I will have the <laughs> the tolerance to allow 
my facial hair to grow much longer. I'll try, but it just, I don't know. It doesn't look great. It doesn't feel great on my face. Not a big fan of the, the, the chin slash neck beard look, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to, <laughs> I'll try to power through it, but <sighs> five episodes, five weeks left. <sighs> That's a lot. Um, anyways, we are halfway done with the season. It's bittersweet. I would say a little more bitter than sweet. Because this is the last season. And, I mean, I guess it's possible that we'll see these characters in other Star Trek media. But this is this is the confir this is the confirmed to be the last season of Lower Decks. But I've enjoyed this season so far. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how it concludes. Uh, where these interdimensional rifts are coming from. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see. Um, I guess we'll see. But, uh, but I think that's all I've got for this episode. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's any Easter eggs or anything that I didn't see or point out because i'm sure there were plenty but anyways thank you guys for watching thank you for your support grateful to be caught up on this show and able to post these reactions uh reasonably close to the release of the episodes uh, looking forward to next week and hopefully i will see you guys then